Hey Virgos, it is the Sun Sage and thank you guys so much for tuning in to your October reading, all right? So this will be tapping into the energies in October to see what it is you need to know, what's coming in, what's surrounding you, what uh, predictions are, are here for you, all right? What messages and predictions. So Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising or any other placements you would like to apply this to. Also cross watchers who may be connected to Virgos, this can resonate for you as well. All right. So take, keep in mind, these are general messages that apply to, um, that are meant to apply to Virgos, but, um, check out the details in the description box. If you do need something more specific for you, um, in your situation to see how you can book a personal reading. All right. So Virgos, let's see what's going on for you guys. The month of October. All right. Move forward. Okay. Virgos, breaking free, and recognition, nice. So this is not the time to stand still. This is not the time to sort of wait for things to play out. This feels like this is the time to make things happen for yourself. You know, I was kind of saying to all the other signs, each, everybody's getting different things. Some people are like, you may want to sit still for a while. You may want to go after what you want. You may want to hold on to this. You may want to let go of this. You guys' message feels very clear to be move. Okay. Get things moving. Get the ball rolling here. Move forward, breaking free. This gets you out of a stagnant situation. It also gets you out of, for some of you, a codependent situation, and you're going to get a lot of recognition for it. For those of you that have been thinking about starting a business, now is the time. Get that website up and running. Get your products out there. Um, a lot of people are looking for what it is that you do. And so this is a good time to bring notice to your talents and skills. So let's see why we have moved forward for Virgos. Thank you so much. All right. Knight of Pentacles. All right. Yes, you can move cautiously. You can move very strategically, but move, right? The Knight of Pentacles is somebody who is going places and they are very careful about distractions or to avoid distractions. They're very careful to sort of avoid any pitfalls, anything that's going to tempt them away from their goal. And so if you have some distractions in your life right now, things taking you away from your ultimate goal, it's time to really reassess those and think, of the best way to get rid of them because it looks as if if you're going to have a clear path towards what it is you desire you're going to have to do it undistracted okay um consistent movement here consistent progress consistent gains seems to be what's being encouraged here that knight of pentacles is you all right also capricorn can be taurus but it is you all right so um yeah knight of swords diligence all right um, be blunt, be, be very clear about your, your intentions here. Be very clear with people, right? Um, no sugarcoating anything. I feel like this is a time to really utilize your communication skills to, to speak about what you want. Um, this is also that energy of if there's something that you do and you've been keeping it under wraps, talking about it to people feels like it actually may lead you to like somebody going, oh, I've been looking for someone who can do this. Oh, I've been looking for somebody who can provide this service. And so I do feel like tooting your own horn a little bit with the Knight of Swords energy rushes you right on into opportunities that feel like they may have been hidden from you if you were staying in sort of a Knight of Pentacles, you know, being super cautious. There will be opportunities for you to be very sort of a... Uh, um, um, a little more careful about decisions. And then they're going to be decisions that you'll have to make on the spot that feels like you're going to have to be prepared to take, you know, opportunities as they come to you. Okay. Um, October is about finding your purpose or going towards your purpose. Libra's here, also Aquarius, Gemini, nine of pentacles. There it is. You guys do not want to be confined in any situation that does not affirm your financial freedom. So in the month of October, 
You're doing whatever you can to maintain financial freedom or to uh, bring in financial freedom into your life, right? Um, if you've been working for a company and you don't feel appreciated, maybe it's time for you to start your own thing. If you've been in a relationship where you feel like things aren't moving and you have to have some sort of like progress in order for you to continue, it feels like it's time for you to speak up. The Nine of Pentacles is confirmation that you don't need anyone, right? You have all the tools you need to make things happen for yourself. You can't depend on others. All right. You can't in the month of October. This is about you, the decisions you make to better your own life. Nine of pentacles here, queen of pentacles. There it is. Be yourself. That's another message. Be yourself. A lot of your energies have come through the knight of pentacles, the nine of pentacles, the queen of pentacles. Be yourself. All right. Um, I feel moving forward is a necessity for you guys because you're so successful and accomplished already in many ways. And if you slow down or stop too much, or if you stop and slow down too much, um, you miss the momentum. The ball is rolling. It looks like you get it rolling in October. Don't slow down. Okay. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, let's see what we have here. You guys are feeling very sufficient, self-sufficient, seven of pentacles, money looks good. You may even take on a new role, a new position, a higher position or something, because this is a lot of coins. Okay. <laughs> um, and I don't even have the knight of pentacles here, but this is a lot of, of, of progress in your finances. These all showed up with move forward. So I do feel as if you have an established sort of career or business, and now you're about to open up, um, multiple lines of or multiple streams of income you know you may be about to work for someone else or start your own thing but the money is looking good in october for you all right breaking free again don't trust anybody to do what you can do better all right um i feel as if you know breaking free has a few meanings for, for me in this deck, but for you guys in this context, I do feel as if, um, you know, you've been think you've been helping people, page of cups, you've been there for people, you've been investing in other people and their stuff. It's time to invest in yours. All right. Um, breaking free page of cups. This feels like breaking free a little bit from responsibility and duty to others so that you can get something that you need to get off the ground so that you can make something happen for yourself with the page of cups. That actually looks like making your own good news, right? Hey, everybody, I'm starting my own thing. I'm doing my own stuff now. You know, that feels like you making that announcement in a way. Yeah. King of Pentacles. This is totally your reading, right? Um, I, I really feel like the reason why like love is not strongly coming through because you guys may already be in a relationship or your relationship doesn't see a lot of like shifts or changes in October, right? Very different from some of the messages I've been getting, but you guys may be in a solid commitment or your relationships just may experience a sense of harmony. So not everybody's kind of on the same page. I also feel like breaking free with the page of cups and king of pentacles is, you know, um, you, you play by the book a lot. Maybe it's time to, to not. Okay. Um, but I'm, I'll be interested to see if the fool comes through. Um, I feel like you guys need to take a chance on something, do something outside the box, the world. Yeah. It's time to stop playing by the rules. You can be very traditional. You can be very sort of <sighs> strategy, sort of, you know, there, be spontaneous, right? Do something that's outside of what people expect of you. The world here is saying you have enough, like, appeal <laughs> to different types of people like you guys have more going on for you than you may know lovers yeah i mean look relationships look good for you guys i feel as if it's strongly coming through that your relationships are going to be in a good place or getting back to a good place the two of swords though is still confirmation breaking free the world like something is doing something just because other people expected of you actually feels wrong for you in October. It actually feels like you need to make a different decision to do something that pleases you. You have a lot of sense of responsibility and duty in these pentacles energies, and it's time to do something fun. It's time to start something new for yourself. Ace of pentacles. All right. 
um, with all of these coins here, all of these pentacles, it could be time to make a new purchase. All right. I do feel that with the ace of pentacles, it feels as if you have enough money saved up for something. Um, maybe some sort of cosmetic procedure comes through the queen, the king of wands, which is at the bottom here. I do feel as if there's energies that you have something, right? The hermit here, you're in your mode, you're in your zone, your literal zone in the month of October. You're feeling very comfortable with yourself and you're feeling like you can do whatever you want to do. That's why I say, you know, sort of spend money on yourself too, right? It doesn't have to be a large purchase, a large procedure, but it does feel like you need to prove to yourself in some way that you're not just here to serve others. You're here to also make yourself feel good. The hermit comes through as some of you may um, re-up on your book collection. Some of you may spend money on your home decor, um, getting the space ready for for colder weather, when you're going to be hunkering down inside the house, the hermit also comes through as, again, spending money on you, um, you know, the lone person who does all the work or the lone person who has all the ideas. It's really time to invest in yourself. Okay. Whatever that means for you guys. Recognition. So you will be appreciated in October. That means people are going to be saying thank you, Virgo, a lot. People are going to be saying you mean a lot to me, Virgo, a lot. People are going to be showing you exactly what you mean to them in October. It's almost like, Virgo, I couldn't do it without you, right? There's a lot of that going on um, in October. People realizing this is what you deserve. This is what you, you know, have been working for, right? Um, a lot of the things you do can be selfless, but it does feel like it's nice to be acknowledged. And I feel like you get a lot of acknowledgement um, in the month of October. You may even get some sort of legal victory here with recognition and justice, right? Uh, a sense of you were right all along. You were right about something, okay? Libra showing up here, but you're in your zone <laughs> the month of, of October. King of Swords, yeah. I feel like there's something you were right about or something you get recognition about. You were telling the truth all along or you were saying something truthful that people needed to hear. And, you know, um, maybe people didn't want to accept it, but in October, they don't have a choice to accept it because there's proof, right? I feel proof with the, 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 uh, justice and King of Swords. There's a lot of facts here. All right. So something you're going to be recognized for was about you being right about it or you having the right solution to it. Okay. What is this King of Swords? Thank you. It's the Eight of Pentacles. You are so in your element in October. I feel like, look, if people are trying to get you off your A game, it will never work in October, at least, because you guys are definitely focused. All right. Incredibly focused. Okay. You feel incredibly stable. You feel very well resourced. You feel as if you lack nothing <laughs> in October. And so things are, you know, it's a pretty good reading for you guys. Probably the best reading of all the signs. Leo was pretty close, but you guys have a pretty good reading. Ten of Cups. I mean, <laughs> okay. This is like, Harmony in the home. This is confirming that your job uh, prospects are going well. Your career energies are, are thriving. This feels like you're happy most of, most of the month. There, that's, there's a lot of laughter here. There's a lot of good family time, a lot of good time with the people you love. I'm going to grab one more, but it feels pretty clear to me. You guys are going to have a really good month for a pentacle. Save your money, right? Spend some, save some. That's what feels like came through with that. I also feel like, you know, what I mentioned with spending money on your home, it's kind of like that four of pentacles is coming through going, yeah, that's nice, but I want you to spend this on you. I want you to do something for literally you, your physical, your image, your brand, you know, focus on inanimate objects another month, Okay. So let's see what we have for you guys the month of October. One more message for Virgos. What do they need to know? Spaceship. Don't be afraid to sing. All right. Um, you're gifted. You're talented. Some of you literally sing or you're musical in that way. For others of you, your voice is important. Your perspective is important. You are 
a truth teller in October. You are a revealer of things people are not seeing on their own. And so it's up to you to get the word out, right? Don't be afraid of the message. It feels like you're a pretty good messenger. Okay. So that is what I have for you, Virgos. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you are interested in a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box.